we are going to be learning how to cut a simple sleeve for this particular dress. So as you can see, the first thing we have to do is to fold for the sleeve. Look at it, guys. First thing we have to do is to fold for the sleeve. So another thing I'll be doing is that I'm going to be teaching from this particular book here. Do you understand? So I'm going to be teaching here. So as you can see, this is chapter 17. We have a simple sleeve here. So the measurements required are, the measurement, measurement required are, this, the sleeve length, which is seven inches, plus extra two inches, which is going to be nine inches. Then the sleeve, the sleeve circumference, that is the round sleeve. Wherever the sleeve stops, measure the circumference of that place, which is going to be 10 inches. Please, there are other things, other measurements needed, but we are going to be um, working on them as we progress. So the next thing you need to do is to fold. Please, while folding, I want you to fold with the armhole length. Now, I want to let you know, I'm willing to usually the distance from here. Are you seeing, let's say this is a dress. The distance from here to here is the armhole length. Are you seeing it? So what we have here now is seven inches. Are you seeing it? So this seven inches now plus three inches. Now this three inches is, is an allowance. Do you understand? Plus how many? Three inches. It's going to be giving us 10 inches. So that is the width here. Now look at it, guys. Are you seeing it? That is the width here. So talking about the length, we are going to be working with the sleeve length. The sleeve length is seven plus two, which is how many? Nine inches. So as you can see, we have 10 inches. So even if it's more than nine, it's okay. The aim of uh, folding is to make sure that it is not lesser than nine. Do you understand? So we are folded for the width and we are also folded for the length. Are you seeing it? Okay. So the next thing we are going to be doing now is we are going to mark out the measurement points. Please, the measurement points needed are there is what I call the word, the sleeve cap height. The sleeve cap height. These are the measurements we need. The sleeve cap height. And we also uh, mark out the, the sleeve length and the allowance. Okay. Now, talking about the sleeve cap height, where exactly is the sleeve cap height? Now, let me show you guys where the sleeve cap height is. Now, look at it. Usually, let's say this is a normal sleeve. Are you seeing it? Now, the sleeve cap height is the, diff the distance from here, the beginning part of the sleeve to this side where the cuff starts. Are you seeing it? This is what is called the sleep cap height. Look at it. Are you seeing it? Okay. So in order to get this sleep cap height, we have the formula. So let me check inside this book. We are going to be finding the formula. We are going to be getting the formula. Now look at it. The sleep cap height is the bus circumference divided by 12 plus 0 0.5 inches. Are you seeing it? The bus circumference divided by 12 plus 0 0.5 inches. So in this case, the bus circumference we are working with is 35. 35 divided by 12 equals to 2.91. Do you understand? So immediately with your calculator, add 0 0.5 to it. Okay, so now we have 3.41 something. Do you understand? So that means at the end of the day, look at it. Let's say it's approximately 3.5. Or you can actually get the 3.41. Do you understand? So let's say it's 3.5. So that means this is our sleep cap height. Do you understand? This is the sleeve cap. That is, this is the point that the curve of the sleeve is going to be coming from. Do you understand? Okay. So now let's mark it out. So at the end of the day, you can see we have also gotten the sleeve length and the allowance. So all you have to do is to make sure you rule a straight line like this. Okay. Okay. So after that, the next thing we are going to be doing, please, this part is very, very important. The next thing we are going to be doing is to be marking out the bicep. Do you understand? Let's mark out the bicep. So where are we going to be imputing this bicep measurement? Now, the part we are going to be imputing this bicep measurement is on this sleeve cap height. Are you seeing it? Where you input your bicep measurement is on the sleeve cap height. Now, in this case, the bicep is 12 inches. So 12 inches divided by 2 is going to be 6 inches. So make sure you mark it out. Look at it, guys. 6 inches. Are you seeing it? Look at it. Are you seeing it? 6 inches. Okay, now let's also impute the um, sleeve circumference here. Are you seeing it? So the sleeve circumference here is 10 inches. That is 10 divided by 2 is how many? 5 inches. Are you seeing it? Okay, so make sure you also mark out 5 inches here. Now look at it. At the end of the day, we have this measurement like this. Now, if you notice we've not added our allowance, do you understand? We are going to be getting to that. But for now, let's um, start, let's continue um, getting the curve that we are supposed to get. Do you understand? Okay, so in order to get this particular curve, next thing you need to do is to look at it. From this point, connect down to the, this point. Are you seeing it? Okay. 
Now, we are on the verge of getting this point here. Are you seeing? Please, this method of cutting a sleeve will give you the perfect sleeve. So, the next thing for us to do now, look at it after marking it out like this, is to get the midpoint. Are you seeing it? From here to here is how many? Seven inches. So, let's get the midpoint, which is how many? Three and a half. Are you seeing it? So, we also need to divide this one into two and get the midpoint. So, this three and a half divided by two is going to be what? One three quarter. Are you seeing it? Do the same thing here. Also get the midpoint. Are you seeing it? One three quarter. So as you guys can see, we have this point. Are you seeing it? Point one, point two, and a point three. Are you seeing it? Okay. Now there's something I want to tell us whenever you are cutting a sleeve this with this particular method. Whatever we're going to cut out now, first of all, is going to be the back shape, the back side of the sleeve. So guys, look at what I mean here. Looking at this sleeve now, you seeing it. You see this side is longer than this side. Are you seeing it? Whenever you are cutting a sleeve, you are meant to know that this particular side representing the armhole effect we talked about. Do you understand? That means this side that is lower is going to be the front part of the sleeve. Now look at this particular book. So for those that actually need to make sure you comment in the comment section. Now look at it. Are you seeing it? This is it here. The lower side is going to be facing. Are you seeing it? This side it was the side we applied the armhole effect. It's facing this particular side. So this side that is longer is actually the back side. Are you seeing it? So when I expand it, look at it. This is the front side, this is the back side. That is, this part is that you are going to piece in on the front side of the um, body. Do you understand? Why this side is for the back side of the sleeve. So we are going to be, everything we are going to be doing here now, first of all, we are going to be cutting based on this particular side. Are you seeing it? Okay, then later we will now cut off something in order to get the front armhole effect. Do you understand? Okay, so now look at it. Next thing I want you to do is, from this point one, are you seeing it? Step up with how many? Yes, you can have to step up with three quarter or one inch. Do you understand? So for this sake of this particular tutorial, let me use how many? Three quarter. Now look at it. Look at what I'm saying from here. Are you seeing it? Step up. Okay, so the next thing you are going to be doing now is, look, look. Connect from here down to this one. Are you seeing? Remember what I said. If you are stepping up, step up with three quarter or one. So from here, connect this way. Are you seeing it? Now, next place you are going to be connecting, not on two, not on the second point. You are going to connect it on the third point. Now look at it. Connect it like this. Are you seeing it? Then next thing you are going to do is connect at this particular point, just like this. You connect it like this. Look, look. Are you seeing it? I did not connect straight. I came from here, then I now have to curve it this way. Are you seeing what I've just done now? Is it well understood? Yeah. Okay. So now, by men looking at this, this is actually the front part of the sleeve. Are you seeing it? No, this is the back part of the sleeve. This, this shape now is the back part of the sleeve. Now, the front part of the sleeve, if you want to get it. Okay, before we get the um, front part of the sleeve, let's add our allowance okay there's something i will teach us before adding this particular allowance and this thing is very very important for us to learn so look at the next thing you have to do before adding the allowance next thing you have to do is to get this point are you seeing it get the this point hmm? because that is where we are fixing this thing so we have to make sure that whatever that is here should be exactly what is here do you understand okay so let's get this point so measure this way Please don't place your tape like this. You will not get it right. Do you understand? Just place your tape like this. This way you are going to perfectly get it. So, look at it. At the end of the what we have is 10 one quarter. Are you seeing it? Okay. So, next thing I want you guys to do is... Okay. So, guys, see what I want you to do. Place like this. Are you seeing it? Place like this. What, what did we get? 10 one quarter. 10 one quarter. Okay. So, see what I want you to do. Make sure you mark out like this, 10 or 1 quarter. Are you seeing it? Yeah? Okay. Now look at this side. How many inches allowance are we supposed to add on this side? Two. Two inches allowance. Are you seeing it? Then two inches allowance. Is it well understood? So next thing you have to do is to do what? Con connect. Are you seeing it? So at the end of the day, cutting out this particular sleeve, look at what we have. Look at what, let me cut it out and show us exactly what we have. Okay. Now look at this sleeve, are you seeing it? 
look at the sleeve officially this sleeve is going to fit the person very very well now remember what i said this one you are seeing now is actually the back part of the sleeve do you understand so in order to get this particular one that is we are going to be cutting off something do you understand so what is that we are going to be cutting off look at it remember what i said let's assume this part is the uh the back now now this part we are going to make it the front okay now look at it now what you are going to be doing is remember we marked how many did we mark here three quarter okay what the next thing i want you to do is if you, if you use three quarter what i want you to step up with from here remember we stepped up with three quarter if you are stepped up with three quarter step up from here with how many quarter are you seeing it? so if you are one of those that stepped up with one please step up with how many half do you understand so for the sake of this tutorial i'm stepping up with how many quarter are you seeing it now look at it quarter are you seeing it now look at this point are you seeing it inside this book is labeled point m are you seeing it now look at that one from this point j they stepped up with what 0 0.5 because in this book we used one inch why here we use how many three quarter me i stepped up with quarter remember so down here are you seeing it look at we have 3.1 2 and a 3 are you seeing it so see what they did whatever you step up with here is the same thing you are going to step down from here to here are you seeing it is the same thing you are going to step down so what i want us to do now look at it now look at exactly what we did here now let me open where it is connected now look at where it is connected are you seeing it now look at the connection from here down to the second point you marked are you seeing it now down to point k now see we are not entering this point are you seeing it then down to this one that we just marked then at the end of the day connect it back that will give you the curve so what you need to do now is look at it let's cut it off let's cut it off okay so at the end of the day we have gotten our sleeve are you seeing it at the end of the day we have gotten this so look at it it's just the same thing as this particular sleeve are you seeing it just the same thing so look at it so for us to work with this sleeve so look at how it's going to be when you get this sleeve, you want to fix it what i would advise you to do now is if you want to fix here like this are you seeing it's wrong here it's supposed to be for the back are you seeing it's coming out so it's supposed to be for here so all you have to do is just know that this is not the part you're supposed to fix this particular sleeve it is for the left hand side are you seeing it look at it this sleeve is for the left hand part of the now look at it are you seeing it now look 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 are you seeing it it's for this side this one going for this one why this one will be coming for this one are you seeing so at the end of the day if you look at it check it anyhow you want to check it you notice that it is 100 percent equal are you seeing it so this is how to cut this thing please i want to let you know that this method of cutting sleeve is a very special method it's not really meant for everybody to use do you understand so if you want to learn other methods of cutting sleeve i think i still have other videos uh, in my channel so you can also go and watch that if you cannot get this one but i believe that this particular tutorial is simple enough for you to understand so thanks very much thanks for watching please do not forget to get your own copy of the perfect dress cutting guide because it is going to actually help you in knowing how to cut different types of dresses thanks and may god bless you